For hundreds of years, farmers on Chios have cut the barks of mastica trees and watched the sticky resin bleed out. Chios is the only place in the world where mastica gum is successfully collected. So they have a global monopoly. Dozens and dozens of things are made from it. Food, drinks, soft and hard, cosmetics, medicinal aids. They sell it all over the world. It's protecting the mastica <coughs> yeah. And it's a good thing the export markets are growing because at home their sales have tanked. We lost about 30 to 40% of our growth, of our corporate growth. Over the last, what, 10 years or so? Yes, yes. Uh, that means that we had, in order to replace uh, this loss, we had to work more and more on exports. Just down the road from the Mastica farm, Iakovos employs five people in the micro brewery he established in 2012. 30% growth every year, his beer selling all over Greece. 100,000 euros. But look at his figures. He and his partner split a profit of 100,000 euros last year. But there's 26% social security, 29% company tax, 6% personal tax, and after all that, 14% advance tax for next year. They're each left with 1,000 euros a month because they've paid 75% tax. And for this profit, we have to work seven days per week sometimes. We have to work 12 hours per day. Uh, in summertime, we have every day is 12 hours per day. So we don't know what to do now. Because for this to change... You're being, you're, being, you're being punished for being a successful entrepreneur. Yes. Greece has just returned to the bond markets to borrow more, having apparently proved its financial maturity by raising more and more tax from the people. The Prime Minister says the bad days are over, but very many Greeks say that is the opposite of the truth. Up until around 2005, Greek debt levels were basically stable, running at about 100% of the country's annual income, or GDP. And yet since the crash, and despite everything that Greece has done to try to reassure the financial markets, the debt has gone up and up and up, and it's now almost double Greece's GDP. And all the while, Greeks are being taxed into poverty. The authorities employ tax police to check that shops and businesses issue receipts as proof of sale so they don't avoid paying tax. Those caught risk heavy fines. The old myth about lazy Greeks not paying their taxes has never looked more wrong. The trouble is, it isn't fixing Greece's broken economy. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Kios in Greece.